a 45-year-old tourist from Thailand, Anupong Swepsaman, one of those shot on Tuesday as he visited the Christmas market in Strasbourg with his wife, Nayan. She was injured in the attack. He did not survive, despite attempts to resuscitate him. Back in Thailand in his hometown near Bangkok, his family are in shock. He knew that Paris was dangerous right now because of the protests, so he chose another city far from Paris, but that didn't stop him having problems. The other person killed in the shooting, an unnamed French citizen, also 45 years of age, former employee of a Strasbourg bank, he was hit as he left a restaurant. Kamal, a garage owner from Afghanistan, worked in the area. He's now on life support. His family and friends describe a man who loved his life. He was a good friend of mine. He left his home to come live in a free country because of the war. Now, he's been shot in the head. It's just terrible. Italian journalist Antonio Megalizzi, 28, was another who was badly injured. Sent to Strasbourg to cover European news. Every day, he worked on his programs at this radio station. Now, he lies in a coma. I spoke with him just 10 minutes before the attack. He sent me a small video of the market and he said, look, it's beautiful here. Tuesday's shooting injured several others. One, a young woman of 19. One of my employees phoned me to tell me that my daughter had been shot in the arm. There were dead people. It was total carnage. All in front of my shop. It's terrible. As evening fell, several victims are still in intensive care.